Hi, Dyslexic Genius here. What I'm going to talk about are Victrola record cabinets. These came out about 1913 and 1915, and they were sold with dealers. They built other ones that said Victor, which are before 1910. We found this on Facebook Marketplace, and these have this wonderful decal here. And these were built by the Victor Company. This, this held a Vic 9. And you have this. Then you have like a schoolhouse. We have a table for our records. And then down here we have paperwork, extra reproducers, or needles. These are a lot of fun. This is, it is very rough, but I'm going to show you a few things on how to fix it. This is the original finish over here, and this is rough. And then over here, this you hear my hand? This is smooth, and then this sounds like sandpaper. And you'll get finishes like this where they're just beat up. But how do we fix them also? This has been done once with Howard's Restore Finish in Mahogany, and then one coat of Feed and Wax by Howard's. So let me show you how to do it. To do these, you're going to need a block sander like this. And I cut out my sandpaper. And I just use this cutting board and I put a, a, a hacksaw blade on it. And you can just come in and cut it to any size you want. This is, this is in one of our very first videos. And we use 320 grit sandpaper. And I use 320 grit sandpaper. Because you can block sand this. And this is a very easy fix. So you put some Howard's Restore Mahogany. And just pour a little on there. Kind of put it on the piece here. Like that. You get it wet. Now you see how it's soaking into the material. It has to be a little bit wetter to really run this down. So we're going to pour a lot more on. And I use a paper towel like this. And this is only for the flat spots. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take a block sander with 320 sandpaper. You don't want to use your hands, this will make it all smooth, and you just... And you see how it disappears? You got to have it... You have to have liquid on here when you do it all the time. You don't... So you're wet sanding it like a car. I'm wet sanding it like a car. In the direction of the grain. Right. And that's a lot better. And this just takes light touch. And you see how wet I run this. And if you're using your fingers, it'll gouge the finish like that. You see how that does that? And the nice thing about these cabinets are You feel the smoothness. There we go. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take another piece of sandpaper. It's a 320. And you'll wet that. And come in here on the edges. Careful to go around the corner smoothly. There we go. And you, because we have this little indention right there, we have this round piece and then this little indention, we're just going to take the sandpaper and we're going to Kind of roll 
pull it up a little so we have a ball and then we can stick it in there. Just going to wipe it all off. Can you hear how I'm wiping? You don't hear anything. And what this does is there was a ring in here. And it took that little ring out. We have to do a little more work. We have another ring in here. That sanding will get in here. Then after you get this done, you might have to do it two or three times. A little Howard's Feed and Wax. And a lot of it. Four out steel wool. And just get this wet all over. And now we'll run it in. Run it in the direction of the grain. Run, run it in the direction of the grain. And, and you have to have it wet because if you don't have it wet enough, you see this dry spot here? You'll miss this where my finger is. You'll miss where the wax should go. And this is how and now what we'll do is we're going to let this soak all night. But what we're doing now is we're preserving this finish. The finish is shot on top. Literally, it's shot. Well, I can see it's shot on this. It's shot everywhere. It's but shot we can bring this back. You can bring this back. You see, when you look at the finish, my angel can focus in. You can see the grain, and we have this roughness all over it. Here we don't, because the grain's going in a different direction. But if you take the door off, and then we sand it down, and you have to use a block sander. On wet, wet, wet. Because what this does, everything's flat on it, so it's much easier. You can come in here and you can literally do all this like that and do the corners by hand. And this thing will come out unbelievable. I hope you enjoyed this video. These are fun to find. And uh, we went through the rain at Gainesville, Georgia to get it in the Hurricane Idelia, I think and raining, but we had a wonderful lunch out, and that's my tip for the day.